In Imperial China, dynasties used long, difficult tests to select people for government positions. These tests were called civil service exams. The passing rates were very low. For example, in the Tang Dynasty, only 2% of people taking the exams passed. In fact, a lot of people kept taking the exams until they were old because they couldn't pass. Some people even committed suicide when they failed so many times. There was a man named Chu Fang Ling who was one of the men that failed many times. He wrote about his experience. A license sheet taking the provincial examination may be likened to seven things. When entering the examination hall, barefooted and carrying a basket, he is like a beggar. At roll call time, being shouted by officials and abused by their subordinates, he is like a prisoner. When writing in his cell, with his head and feet sticking out of the boot, he is like a cold bee in autumn. Upon leaving the examination hall, being in a day's seeing and a changed universe, he is like a sick bird out of a cage. When anticipating the results, he is on pins and needles. One moment, he fantasizes success and magnificent mansions are instantly built. Another moment, he fears failure and his body is deduced to a corpse. At this point, he is like a chimpanzee in captivity. Finally, the messengers come on galloping horses and confirm the absence of his name on the list of, of successful candidates. His complexion becomes ashen and his body stiffens like a poison fly no longer able to move. Disappointed and discouraged, he, he vilifies the examiners for the blindness and blames the unfairness of the system. Thereupon, he collects all his books and papers from his desk and sets them on fire. Unsatisfied, he tramples over the ashes. Still unsatisfied, he throws the ashes into a filthy gutter. He is determined to abandon the world by going into the mountains, and he is resolved to, to drive away any person who dares to speak to him about examination essays. With the passage of time, his anger subsides and his aspiration rises. Like a turtle dove just hatched, he rebuilds his nest and starts the process once again.